Mestre Imortal. A UFC lightweight division bout. Napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage you have. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Checks the leg kick. He's getting lit up. Oh, collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, big elbow. Nice. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Ooh! That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. That was a thudding leg kick. Toss as he takes him down, now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. You gotta be careful, arm bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you wanna be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous condition. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He landed a good uppercut there. Big knee to the body. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch land over the top. Nice job to land the knee to the bottom, man. I wish I was going to Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch from the clinch. Big elbow there, Lance. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, big left hook there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Final seconds here in round one. Oh. So a strong five minutes down. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's good. Oh, oh, he's, in trouble. he's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Effective strike there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lands with the right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. On the clinch. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just unable to quite find that range. Ryan right, engage in a single collar tie. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Real sneaky body kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Like he might have landed there instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. What a punch. Lands a big elbow there. Single collar.
collar tie now. Nice kick. Big leg kick lands. Just out of the range with that right hand. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Big ball from Westland. Now he gets back to range. Nice leg kick lands. His left hand punches the clinch. Oh, nice. Can't take many of those. You better check. Body kick. Oh, he has landed a high oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay the floor. He mixed it up. He went high with the but he's going low. And now he's got him for very bad. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Oh, that's a nice strike. Over and over. Stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. time in the past that his boxing work at this show. He's never looked this good. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Taking some big shots. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I mean, how many can he take? This is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Get attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, that was a violent tap there. 
so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on-bar assassin. All right.